Assalamualaikum Hi, my name is Muhammad Maru Amar bin Muhammad Arus I love calculus Yo, what's up everyone? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi, my name is Muhammad Aikam Aslakim I'm from Johor Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Ajit Najmi bin Nur Zaidi I'm from CEE111 Group D and my student ID is 2022-869-542 Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone My name is Muhammad Syarul Azhar bin Muhammad Noor and my student ID is 2022-869758 and I'm from Selangor What is derivative? Derivative is the rate of change of a function with respect to a variable Derivatives are fundamental to solution of problem in calculus and differential equation. There are two types of derivative: first derivative and second derivative. That's all. First derivative. The derivative by first principle refers to using algebra to find a general expression for the slope of a curve. It is also known as the delta method. This is the equation of first derivative f prime x equal to limit h approaching 0 f bracket x plus h minus f x over h the second derivative can be obtained by differentiating dy over dx with respect to x an example d squared y over dx squared equal to d over dx in bracket dy over dx application derivative in chemical engineering derivative can be used in reaction rate reaction rate in chemistry is the speed at which a chemical reaction proceeds it is often expressed in terms of either the concentration amount per unit volume of a product that is formed in a unit or the concentration of reactant that is consumed in a unit of time Alternatively, it may be defined in terms of the amounts the reactants consume or product form in a unit of time. For example, suppose that the balanced chemical equation for a reaction is of the form A plus 3B become 2Z. The rate could be expressed in the following alternative way, such as dz over dt or negative dA over dt and etc. Where t is the time, a, B and Z are the concentration of the substances and A, B and Z are their amounts. Note that these six expressions are all different from another but are simply related. So I'm back again and I'm going to give an example of rate of change. For reactants and product in solution, their relative amount concentration are commonly used for purposes of expressing reaction rates. For example, the concentration of hydrogen H2O2 in an aqueous solution changes slowly over time as it is decomposed according to the equation. What is the equation? The equation is 2H2O2 uh, hydrogen peroxide, 2H2O dehydrogen oxide plus O2 oxygen. Actually, the rate of which the hydrogen peroxide decomposes can be expressed in terms of the rate of change of its concentration as shown here. So, the formula of rate of decomposition of H2O2 are change in concentration of reactant over time interval. So basically, it is the total of change in concentration of reactant over total of time. Okay, so what can we conclude here is derivative is easy indeed and many people apply it in their daily life so i will give an example uh, in engineering field such as civil engineering they use derivative they apply derivative in finding a curve of a building or something they they want to create so i will say that derivative in, is easy and can be applied in whatever that we do in our daily life so that's it. Thank you.